Nothing but killers and dealers out here. I had to come to Detroit and do this. This is where the Hitsfield go down there. That ain't the Hitsfield, baby. That's right, Hitsfield, straight gangster shit around here. That's right. I went over on Seven Mile. That motherfucker need lotion like a motherfucker. Get y'all hair done every day. <laughs> Boy, you bitches' toes be fucked up, but hair be whipped. You be like, man, she's cute. Dun, 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 dun. Where's the toe budget at? God damn, it's going down up in this motherfucker right here. Look at all the married men. Can't do nothing tonight. Married men just whispering to himself, God damn, what did I bring her ass out tonight? There's some motherfucking stars in here tonight. You know, niggas looking out the corner of the eye every five minutes, nigga like this every five minutes. This is that one right here. <laughs> looking at the bitch for it. Nigga, ain't nobody looking at no bitch. A man use any excuse to look at a girl. She looks like your friend Tanisha. Don't look like my motherfucking friend. Look at the bitch again. You got a purse like that. Look at the bitch again. You ain't nobody like a purse like that. Marry men act totally different when they buy themselves, don't they? You see him with your wife. What's up, Tony? Hey, man, how's everything going, brother? Oh, just taking it easy, hanging out with the old lady. All right, God bless you. Take it easy now. All right. Be like that nigga ain't like that. You see him about saying, what's up, Tony? Hey, where's the bitches at, nigga? Where's the bitches? Hey, your girl. Where? Where's she at? Where's she at? She's a pulled up. She's outside. Every man in here is scared of they fucking girl. These motherfucking women are detectives. Just when you think you slipping, they got your ass. That's right. They'll tell you they go in the bed and get up and come looking for you. I'm going to bed. Okay, I love it. My, my, my. Nigga think I'm going, I'm going up to for this nigga there. I know where he at. He over at Chucky and I'm going on 38th Street. I'm going to fuck this nigga off. Your friends be looking out for you. I think your girls are prowling. I just seen a car.
And don't fall asleep, fellas, before your girl, because they will ramsack your shit. <laughs> you ever fall asleep and wake up and realize you ain't got that phone in your pocket? You're like, oh shit, my phone, baby! What room you in? This bitch got my phone. Baby, what room you in? You see your mama, where your mama at? Where your mama? Baby! They get that motherfucker phone, it is a wrap. That's a real nightmare right there in Detroit. You on the mother using a cold sleep, and that's all you hear. Who the fuck is this? You can't believe it's happening. You be like, is this a dream? You be looking with your eyes squinching and shit. Who is this nigga? Ain't no sun in here. Nigga looking like the sun in his eyes. Ain't no sun in here. Who is this? I don't know. Oh, the bitch. You walk around the house butt naked with some underwear on, calling bitches. Yeah, this is Mike. Uh, don't ever call me again, bitch. Uh, fuck you, you know what I mean? You could be looking at this girl talking to you. Yeah, bitch, don't ever call me back again, you know? Call the other bitch. I'm playing with you. Yeah, this is Mike. Uh, don't ever call me back again. You're fucking my family up, bitch. <laughs> bye. Let me say bye at the end, nigga. You're trying to leave some hope, ain't you? You're changing the number in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Now, fucking women put the pressure on a nigga. They want to feel your balls when you come in the house. Let me feel your nuts. Your nuts feel empty, man. How much did they wait for I left, man? I didn't say nothing when you had that bottle of vinegar next to the tub. Look at all the old bitches know what that is. Snap that pussy back. Yeah, I'm gonna tighten this pussy up on this nigga tonight. Two capfuls of this vinegar. Snap that pussy back. Girl, I was looking in my cabin. I done ran out of that snap back. Come over. I'll be right over there. Snap that pussy back. All the young bitches still don't know what I'm talking about. What's the vinegar shit he talking about? They going to the store right after this. What the hell's the vinegar on, oh, man? You must want to snap that pussy back. <laughs> Look at them. They like that, don't they, fellas? But they don't like when we make the pussy for our duty. <laughs> You trying to be funny, you making my pussy fight. Nigga make a sound like Dougie Fred. My... Get up, he making my pussy fight. They think they didn't did their thing. The hair didn't got in there, they didn't lift the legs up. As soon as they let them legs down. My... I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry. Which hole did that air come out of? Because I smell steamed broccoli, goddammit. Now get up. I seen a cream of wheat dust come out of there. Fellas, you gotta fuck these girls good, because if you don't, they ain't gonna give you no play. You be like, I wonder why she don't say nothing to me no more, man. You see her in the club, what's up?
She'd be like, hey. Sorry ass motherfucker. Two second ass bitch ass nigga. Wasting my time. You gotta tear the pussy down. If you don't fuck them good, you know they're gonna pull out their little zzz. Look at them, they love that shit. Put the motherfucker toy out of the equation. You didn't throw the pussy down. Let me watch out. Then the batteries go down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You be like, yeah, bitch. You wanna play now? Mm -hmm. She all in the kitchen, butt naked on the tippy toes, looking for batteries. Oh my God, the feeling's going away. I need some batteries. All in the kitchen drawers. Oh my God, there's a motherfucking battery. They finally take the batteries out the Mocha Toe. Get the channel you're gonna watch. Put the motherfucking Mocha Toe down. Taking the batteries out of here. They get mad, we got a porno tape in the motherfucking house. Keep these bitches out of my house. Oh, the frisbee through the motherfucking. I don't know them bitches. They live in San Diego. <laughs> Women love to catch a nigga jacking off. That's why you gotta have that mobile truck right here on your lap. So you can hit stop and put your dick under your shirt. Who is that? That's how women walk in the door on your ass, just like this. Well, what are you doing? I'm gonna do it again. This is how they come around the corner like this. Caught your ass, didn't I? Smell funny in here. What is it supposed to smell like? My balls is out. Cheers. Ladies, you gotta watch these men. Just cause a nigga got money don't mean he got his dick cut right when he was a baby. <laughs> nigga pull his dick out and motherfucker get a turtleneck. I think this brother got a turtleneck. Girl, he got money, but he got blanket lint on his dick. What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> I'm feeling good in the motherfucker. We got a black president. Can't nobody tell me shit. I feel like I can sell weed right in the middle of the street. Obama smoked weed. Look at that little walk he got. You see that little walk? I seen him almost fall one night. <laughs> so this nigga's a pimp right here. Lips purple. He's smelling them great flitches, sweets. <laughs> Look at his lips. Bush got all the money. He's a rotten motherfucker, that little Bush. Oh, uh, he's somewhere right now with his shirt off, eating chicken wings, counting his money. Oh, I raked up pretty good. <laughs> he just look at you with that little smirk like that. You know how Bush look at you? Like, you know I fucked you. <laughs> but, but what you gonna do about it? <laughs> Nothing. They tried to fuck Obama's oath up. You see when he had his hand up? 
he had to stop and t look at the man like, I'll slap shit at you up here if you mess my shit up. I'm trying to read my old little now letter in your mouth. <laughs> you know Obama's real. He getting them threatening calls too. He got the same pressure of a nigga that got 30 kilos in the basement. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Jesse. I know who it is, Michelle. It's Jesse Jackson. Stop playing on my fucking phone. No, you can't come to the White House, nigga. You're trying to call me a bitch on the mic one night. They caught Jesse's ass hating on him. He was gonna suck my dick, nigga. Caught, nigga. Caught you, didn't they, Jesse? He's sitting up here at the inauguration crying like he's uh, so happy. Looking like a drunk ass pickanese. Just... Man, that show was supposed to be me. Keep hope alive. This is a rotten motherfucker, man. You got Martin Luther King shot, man. Bah, watch out, King. God damn it, get out the way. Jesse Davis after you. I know who it was. I tried to fuck his wife. Let's get out of here. been laughing, they still can't find him. Every chance he get, he let them know. Soon as soon as Obama won, the nigga called. We won, my nigga. <laughs> Who is this? It's the nigga you love to hate. It's Lottie Dottie. And we like to party. He sent a tape every chance he get. This is my new video. Exclusive. Rap City The Basement. Which my nigga Big Tiger. around video. Muslim women, butt nigga with just his own. Man. Uh, oh man, it's crazy out here, man. White people, I feel sorry for y'all. Y'all kids will kill y'all in a motherfucking minute. Tell me you're grounded and you're dead, mom, bitch. You're fucking out of here, man. That's how they always do their leg and their foot. You're fucking dead, mom. Your dead fucking dad is dead, man. Timmy, what's the problem? You're the fucking problem. You're the problem. Dad's the fucking problem. I told you I want my fucking skateboard out the shop, bitch! <laughs> the white people, I don't act like that. My son doesn't do that. 
You come home from school, little Timmy in the garage making a bomb. What are you doing, Timmy? Nothing, Mom. Get out of here now! That's why you're fucking out of here! You ain't never heard of a little black kid killing their mama, have you? Cause it will be a shootout in that mother. <laughs> you know, black mothers got instincts like they in Vietnam. What you doing in that room so motherfucking long? You need to say something when you're in there. This is my room. You know, them black mothers love jumping on their daughters. Cause them mamas and daughters always got that little rival thing at the while. You know when the daughter start getting spunky with her mama? You tell her to do something. I'ma do it, shit. What'd you say? Don't try to knock your head in between that washer and dryer. Don't play talk that motherfucker shit to me. You know, black mothers love to do that first jump on. Let's get an understanding around here, heifer. And then they call and tell everybody, I had to knock Shanika's motherfucking. I tried to kick that bitch off behind the damn washing dryer. I guess because she got titties, she thinks she's running something around here. I had to let her know, buy your own tampons. But till you can buy your own tampons, don't say a motherfucker thing to me. Bitch, wanna buy a tampon and talk crazy back to a bitch. <laughs> then the next two days, I love you, baby. Wanna go have lunch? Uh, she didn't beat me all upside the fucking head and told everybody at the church. Black mamas will hit your ass anywhere. Church, parking lot, court, any motherfucking where. You ever get hit and you be looking to see who's seen it? <laughs> be a white man just looking at you like this. You better be careful, little buddy. You better shut the fuck up. He's pretty feisty, isn't he? Yeah, I'm gonna knock his motherfucker teeth out of his mouth. My mother tried to raise us Jehovah Witness. I was like, oh, hell no, not that. No fucking Christmas gifts. Fuck this shit. Keep tying notes to my shirt. He's not to participate in any activities. This note won't make it this year. I'm getting a fucking gift this year. Knocking on people's doors. Do you know the truth? Get off my porch, bitch. Yep, the devil's in there. Let's get out of here, kids. fucking crazy out here. I want to turn my life over to God, but it is hard as hell. Every time something happens to us, that's what we do. Oh, God, please don't do it to me, man. I tell you, this is it, man. I'm, I'm leaving these niggas alone, all these bitches. I'm telling you, this is it, man. I ain't, I'm tired of this shit, man. I should have been came to you. As soon as you feel good, nigga, back out. Fuck these bitches. God be like, he's a lying motherfucker right there. Lying ass nigga. Don't you call me no more. <laughs> these motherfucking churches are getting expensive. You think these preachers don't know it's a fucking uh, recession? Every time they catch you catching the Holy Ghost, we're going to take the plate one more time. Pass the plate one more time. 
I seen an old lady snap out of the Holy Ghost. She's like, ah, oh, hell no. And that's just taking advantage of a motherfucker right there. That's the third time he didn't set the plate around here. And that's it now. They got families that know how to time that motherfucking plate. You see the whole family get up. They know how to do it. You see the father get up first. The mother just start walking out. Kids be right behind him. Pastor, look at this shit right there. Look at, look at that top of That's what you call stealing. Some of them pastors need to quit it, for real. Like them niggas would be on TV 4.30 in the morning. Be like, nigga, what the hell? You got to understand, you see the law. Ah! the page 33 Corinthians 33 45 and then I'll tell you you'll see the law like nigga it is a reason why you on the TV at 4 in the morning you ain't shit and I'm telling you man TV and the computer is some bullshit that's all they got is bullshit on there Judge Joe Brown, you ever watch him? You mean to tell me you had $25 and you turned around and gave the other lady $8 of the money? Sit down. <laughs> what about Judge Mathis? He's a motherfucker, ain't he? That's Detroit's finest. He'll call you a crackhead in a minute. So that's what the lady said. I know what she said. Huh? Go ahead. Say it again. And she's a crackhead. That's what I, I know a crackhead when I see one. Go ahead. And you gave her the $35. I know a crackhead. Yeah, I know your stuff. I went to school with people like you. You're trying to put a game on me. Games, I've been there. <laughs> Don't you hate that guy on that college commercial, that Everest College commercial? <laughs> Get up, come on, what you doing? You ain't doing no with yourself. Come on, look at you, you look like a bum just sitting there. You ain't doing nothing, do something with yourself. Come on down to college. Man, you ugly as hell. Man, come on, man. Look at you, you ain't got no job. You ain't doing nothing with yourself. Come on, get a college degree. You be like, shut the fuck up, nigga. I'm doing something with myself. I'm killing that nigga down there every scholars, man. <laughs> Ten minutes later, here come the bench. Come on, what you got in there, huh? You ain't doing that with yourself. Life's fucked up. First 48, you ever watch that? You gotta read the Bible after you watch that shit. I'm straightening my life up after this episode. That was fucked up. I ain't bullshitting, it can happen. They need to call first 48, first 48 snitches. Cause them are some ratatouille ass niggas on that show. I haven't seen an episode yet where they didn't tell. <laughs> so the police right up. Ah, put your hands up. Tony Clark. Police, wait a minute, nigga. <laughs> who is Tony Clark? I'll tell you who it is. Come on, let's go. Let's go downtown. I'm ready to get a soda. I'm ready to drink a soda, baby. Let's do it. And you better get two 90-minute tapes, because I got a whole lot of shit I want to talk to you about. That lady make everybody tell. What's her name, Miss Mason? You know how the show come on. In the first 48. 
and they get the nigga in the room, she go right in there at him. Now, little cookie, you know that I know that everybody in the hood know who killed little poo poo Thursday night. This is how you know the nigga gonna tell when he go like this. <laughs> Boo, yeah, I think we got him. When they come back from a commercial, nigga didn't say something. You could tell because he got a cigarette. Nigga, relax. Yeah, I seen a little something, something, something. By the time the show's going off, this nigga got red lobster. I seen three murders. Give me that butter right there. Put that. <laughs> nigga, you done told for an ultimate feast. <laughs> what I can't understand about a nigga telling nigga still go to jail. <laughs> you did all that telling you still in here? Niggas in jail are the lionest motherfuckers ever. <laughs> Nigga be in jail lying like me. You know they took a hundred thousand from me, man. Kicked in the door, took a hundred thousand, took fifty thousand, man, took everything. Be like, why you ain't got no money on your books? They took everything. <laughs> I didn't even have fifteen dollars to put on a nigga books. Them niggas go in prison, man. They turn into everything. Straight up. Them nigga, I know a nigga didn't kill nine niggas. This nigga's in a Christmas play this year. <laughs> this nigga, hum rum pa pum pum. I mean, I said, do they know who they got in this play? <laughs> this nigga is going to tie Santa everybody up. Pum rum pa pum pum. <laughs> Niggas come off of prison, they want you to take them to the mall, don't they? Man, take them to the mall, baby. You know I just came home, man. Y'all don't get me right, baby. Take me to Northland, baby. Give me a sweater. <laughs> yeah, man. Take me, man, man. They tell everybody, too. Yeah, Tony got me two sweaters. I just got two sweaters. Tony gave me two sweaters. I got a pair of pants the other night. <laughs> See the nigga a year later, man. You know I just came home, don't you? <laughs> nigga, you've been home for a while now. Good line, motherfucker. And if you've been selling dope for 20 years and you ain't got shit, it's probably time to get a job. I mean, straight up. You can make more money on a job than them little kibbles and bits. You've been throwing rocks at the penitentiary for 140 a week anyway. For 140 a week. You might as well go get a job. You in it for the lifestyle, not the paper. You tricking bitches with a gold chain. Look at the sugar daddy right there. You can have whatever you like. Say that you can have whatever you like. Hey. Look at sugar daddy. Sugar daddy. If you don't sit your big BB King looking ass. If you can have whatever you like. Hey. Stacks on me, Patron on I, put it on down, but it just said that you can have whatever you like. That's right. Give it up for him, y'all. One more time, sugar daddy. That's one of them old players be looking over his glasses in the club. I had some fine bitches in here tonight. Nigga, had this many kids. God damn, this is bad. Why is that bad bitch that motherfucker tonight? God damn, is a bad business in there. Smell it with a little bad business in there. <laughs> oh, look at that ass fat in the country boy's bad lunch. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Look at it. I like the hand I got that pussy the other night. 
I like to have a got that pussy. I like to have a got it, I'm telling you. That's how them old men be talking and look here, Karen, let me tell you something. I just got a whole new, I just got a whole new, look out there in the back of that trunk, get out of there, get your soda out of there. Get your soda out of there. When them old men coming in the house, that's all you hear. <laughs> Damn, what key is that? I don't know what got. Then you hear him holler, Baba! What goddamn key this is right here? Right here. There's some sugar daddies in here, because I've seen about nine vans outside. That's all them old players drive is vans. Shit, I ain't buy no goddamn hotel ticket right in the back of that goddamn van. Yeah, sure did. Fucked up for $77. Niggas always say an odd number. Shit, give me something that puts it for $38 the other night. Sure did. There's a lot of older ladies in here trying to give away some of that cougar pussy. <laughs> you can have whatever you like. Come on, get some of this cougar pussy, young boy. Shit, them older ladies buy you lawnmowers and hedge cutters and shit. Mama bought you hedge cutter, baby. You doing no yard work, bitch? Let me use the car. I got a buddy under investigation right now. This nigga been taking food up into the nursing home. Feeding old women, getting their chicks. He riding around with the old women in their car. Old women got the same jogger suit he got on. Yeah, man, that's my girl in there. I said, nigga, that ain't your girl. Take that old lady home. <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning, she in the car sleeping. This nigga eating chicken outside the car, music playing. Old lady in the car knocked the fuck out with a jogging suit off. I said, man, take that old lady ass home. She about to get up anyway. It's about 4.30. She get up anyway this time. I said, this is a rotten motherfucker right here, nigga. You going to double hell with gasoline draws on. You are fucked up. I said, do you fuck any of them? Every now and then I hit one of them. Every now and then I hit them and split them, you know what I mean? I do a little something to them, get on away from that. Said, you a foul nigga. If I catch you near my grandmama, I'ma fuck you up. <laughs> Some of them grandmas, though, they be hot in the pants. They be in there talking all nice to you and your friends. As soon as you walk out, they jump in your friend's face. Man, come and get your grandmother. What? Ain't did nothing. Ain't nobody done that. <laughs> yeah, some sugar daddies in here tonight. And I know there's some older ladies in here tonight. And I just want to let y'all know that times have really changed. You know times didn't change. How do we go from, oh, girl, I'll be in trouble if I left you now. So I was getting some head. I was getting some head. <laughs> My grandmother is 80 some years old. She don't know what head means, the word head. My little nephews was playing that song. She came in there and said, cut it off right now before I come in there and get some head out of all of you. And I mean cut it off right goddamn now. 
I'll give your daddy head, your daddy head, your daddy head. I've been getting head right here for many years. Now cut it off. They were laughing like a mouth. Every five minutes, they was running in the room playing. Grandma, what? You still gonna give us some head like you said you were earlier today? You damn right I'm gonna give me like I said. Keep on coming in the ass. I'm gonna give it to you right now. It's like I gotta pee. I can't do it right now. She didn't know what the fuck they was talking about. My auntie told her what they was talking about. They was in their sleep. She came in here. My fucking ass. I'm not sucking a dick earlier today. My grandmother sit on the toilet like this with a cigarette and just open her leg and thump the ashes out. <laughs> Shoulders be up. Come here, get grandma some tall pack. Tip, tip, tip. Sometimes she lift her whole ass up. I look like Chris Brown is the new Ike Turner. Wanna be your boo Every day, every night. We don't know what that Frankenstein here bitch did to him. It's two sides to the motherfucking story. Shit, I'm down with the women, you know what I mean? But the new law is, whoever gets the phone first, the other one's going to jail. Yeah, niggas be calling now. Yeah, uh, my wife just hit me in the eye. Get down here now. They don't fuck around with that shit. They will give a nigga a uh, basketball jersey number for that shit. One time my girl called the police and hung up. Them motherfuckers still came out. Unfortunately, um, somebody gotta go down. It was like, for what? Uh, well, taxpayers' dollars, you made us come out here. She looking at me, I'm looking at her. I went down there and got her, man. She was mad in the motherfucker. What? I had to work that night. She in the car I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I know, I know how it is. <laughs> I'm just bullshitting, I'm just playing. They all jokes, motherfuckers, jokes. Y'all get sensitive and shit. Now I'm in the movies, motherfuckers just want me to crack a joke all the goddamn time. I just be places, man. Say something funny. You're like, nigga, you say something funny. People just walk up and ask stupid ass questions. You talk to Ice Cube every day. <laughs> no, motherfucker. <laughs> stupid shit. And people love to call me Day Day. How long am I gonna be Day Day? <laughs> Forever? Security of the world. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it's crazy around here, man. I ain't bullshit, man. I went to the, 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 the strip club the other night, the Brass Key. 
It was rough up in there. Smell my fingers. I ain't bullshit. Come here, man. I cannot get this cat smell off my hand. A girl squirts some baby milk. I'm like, what the hell was that all about? I just had a son. I said, do you see him in here? I had a C-section scar that went across this way. What you have, a baby or a heart surgery? What the fuck kind of scar is that? I want to talk to the manager. It's a girl squirting goat milk over there in the fucking corner. I know who it is. What the fuck you let her work for tonight? You know who it is. I love Detroit, y'all niggas. It's gangsta out here. Yeah. I've been coming to Detroit since 1989. I went to the job for it right there on Jefferson Street. My mama sent me up here to be an electrician. I, I went back home with a finger wave. She's like, oh, hell no. You getting the fuck out of there. I had a briefcase and shit you know. What the fuck kind of new shit is this? in the briefcase. Nothing. <laughs> I love y'all niggas in Detroit. Shit. And nigga asks, and nigga asks why y'all here at the show during the recession. Because y'all are some hustling sons of bitches. <laughs> I don't know where you get your money, but you get it. And if you're poor, we won't never know it. Y'all keep y'all fronts all the way up. You stay down until you come up. A nigga won't never know what you got. Until he pull you to the side and say, man, I'm having no hard times right now. Man, nigga, I'm having five now. That's how one of them old players get some money from me. They just stare at you for a minute before they say something. Some of it catch your eye. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> like, oh, what this nigga want right here. <laughs> Look, man, check this out, man. You know, they, you know they took 3500 from me over the other day over there. Tony Earl and him. Huh? <laughs> like, hear this nigga go on one of them stories. You see that white man Madoff took all that money. You see that shit? Man, if that was a nigga, he'd be dead. <laughs> shit. You can't take $1,000 from a nigga without putting a hit on you. <laughs> I'm for real. You borrow money from a white person, don't never give it back. This was it. This was the last $30. You borrow some money from a black person, they're going to threaten you before they give it to you. Let me tell you about my money, plan. <laughs> I works too hard for my shit. You know what I mean? And I started not to give it to you. <laughs> you be like, you know what? Fuck you and that $20, all right? About to fucking lecture me, nigga. Hey, they give you the black people give you the money and tell everybody, huh? What you doing? Oh no, just get Carlos forty dollars. Yeah. Doing pretty bad this week, man. I, you know, I guess God will bless me for it. Yeah. And everybody got to do the right thing, you know what I mean? Try to look out for each other. 
know what I'm saying? That shit, that's all we got is around here, this motherfuckers, each other, shit. That's right. We ain't got none of the old folks no more. All these little young kids, they fucked up. They ain't got no direction. Shit. These little kids is on everything. Sir, pills, Xanax, Oxycontin, painkillers, cigarette, weed, Hennessy, fuck up. <laughs> These little niggas is Martians around here. They going through 19 emotions. You be like, what's up, little Tony? Ah, I love you. Ah, yeah. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm on everything. I'm a retarded, I've been in special ed all my life. They have surrounded me around retarded kids all my life for nothing. For real, they say you retarded. My mother said you was retarded when you was little and you grew out of it. I said, no, nah, I ain't no fucking grown out of it. I told her, stop telling people that shit. He was retarded and grew out of it. I fucking grew out of it. If I was retarded then, I'd be retarded now, right? Do I look retarded to any of y'all? Who say, yeah, fuck you, man. There's some retarded kids in here because I seen a van pull up outside. They on a field trip, about six of them together. That's how retarded kids walk when they don't know where they're going. Tell me over here. Let me alone and get out of my face. I went to school with a nigga named Junior. The nigga had a big old booty wearing corduroys every day. Corduroys are convoys. You say, what's up, Joe? You get out of my face. Leave me alone. <laughs> Nigga, tongue always hanging out. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> I walk in the bathroom, this nigga that pulled his pants all the way down, pissing like this, ass out. Belt buckle, underwear, everything down there. I said, man, unzip your shit. Leave me alone. One day I'm in a motherfucking club. This motherfucker, this dude pull a hot dog out of his pocket. In the bun, ketchup, mustard, everything. I said, did this motherfucker just pull a dressed hot dog out of his pocket? Let me out. I stayed in special ed. And the bell rang, teacher, sit back down. I said, bitch, the bell just rang. Put your helmet on. I said, I'm not putting no more fucking helmet on. <laughs> I was in there with a nigga had a hand like this, but the nigga sing R&B. Nigga, baby. And I really want to love you. You know, girl. girl. That's how he wiped the sweat off his head. This next song is one of my favorites. Sometimes it gets sexy with it, nigga, baby. That's how he look on his debut album like this. His new debut album. Where will I go now? Y'all think I'm going to hell for that?
And you going with me, you was laughing, baby. That's how you be clapping in. Come on, put that nub together. Come on. You know, ladies, when I look into your eyes, that's how you get a lot of women. He get, get the number, with, but it's back time. Put your number in the box. They be getting the pussy, you don't see nothing but that hand. What is that moving? Don't worry about it. As soon as the mother come, baby. There's a lot of big girls in here tonight. Where the big girls at? I'm gonna start pointing y'all's asses out. You don't wanna make it known. I see your honey bun smuggling ass up in here. I made a song for the big girls. Come on, y'all clap. We're gonna do the song for the big girls. Come on now. Cause everybody got a big girl. You know what I mean? Some of y'all mamas is big girls. And some of y'all niggas is big girls too. Come on now. Uh, uh, I like big girls. I cannot lie. If you need a man, baby, I'm that guy. Up in the club, VIP, big girls everywhere, and they loving me. Yeah, I want a sandwich, I'll take two. Put it in the kitchen, they know what to do. Lobster, chicken, biscuit, put it in the oven, Kool-Aid pizza, damn, I love it. Big girl, big job, big salary. Big girls don't care about calories. Big girls don't care who's looking. All they want to know is this. 